So how are you doing guys and welcome, it is Kraken here and we've just finished the streamer weekend and boy what a weekend that was. Big shout out to all the new people that came along and supported the streamer weekend. We had loads of new subscribers, loads of new faces, so big shout out to all of you guys. If you haven't started subscribing yet, please just hit the button down below and do that for us. That would be an amazing help, thank you very much. But now let's get into all the things that we've learned over the streamer weekend and try and give a bit more knowledge and help to you guys as well. Today we're going to be looking at the Cracker Book and how important the Cracker Books can be now because we have learning by looting. A whole new way that we play seven days now. It's completely changed. So in this video we're going to be looking at the magazines, the perk books, schematics and how important that is now to the way we play seven days. So let's get cracking right here we go then let's get started so i'm on top of the cracker book hq here and as you can see from the top right hand corner it has five red skulls and one amber skull so you're not going to be raiding this one at the beginning of the game but i did actually go through one of the smaller cracker books the one with a car crashed in the front and did actually manage to do that on day one of the streamer weekend day one in the game as well so that one is very useful i even actually managed to kill the dog in the top of it using my bow and arrow and then hit him with a club and actually managed to get through that because the dogs are a lot faster now but anyway the most important thing about this video is the magazine so i've got the magazines in a box here there are 23 new magazines that all do different things now this system i really like but it's also a little bit complicated if you're going into clubs Let's say, for instance, we have a magazine for the club, Big Hitters. So you can see I've got 20 here. And if I go into making a club just up here, at the moment, we can make a level one club. OK, so if we go into our perk system here, we have this new little bit over here, crafting skills. And if I look down here to clubs, it tells me that I can make a level 1 club and my next level will be level 2. Very good, very nice and simple. This little bit over here, under skill, is relating to the magazine. So I need to have read two more magazines and then I can make the level 2. So let's just quickly do that. Back into here and we'll read two of those. And you heard that noise there, that noise like we've just broken something. That now means if we go to clubs, we're now making level two clubs. And we were checking it in the stream. Each club does become stronger, which is very nice. The most annoying thing about it was we went up to the baseball uh, bat when we had read 11 of these and the baseball bat was actually weaker than a tier 5 club okay so one thing just to bear in mind because that did take forged iron and all of the rest of it be a, bit, a little bit careful because sometimes this was using less stamina using the wooden club the baseball bat takes more stamina i thought they were going to be sorting this out and maybe it's just a bug in the game and they will actually finish the stats when it comes to general release but at the moment just bear that in mind that the wooden club just as an example might be the same with sledgehammers i haven't checked that yet or the spears but just something to bear in mind now the other thing about the magazines does go back to your perk points here so obviously when you do your beginning quests and what have you and your xp down here with this purple bar you get perk points so we can use perk points like we could before so if we went into pummel p into this one here this can now give us a boost on what magazines you're going to find and you find these magazines everywhere you want to be checking every bit of trash looking absolutely everywhere but we went through the cracker book and rather than finding stacks and stacks of paper like we used to i only actually found about three bits of paper and nearly all the rest of it was magazines so what you perk into, especially in the beginning, is very important because you'll find magazines more tailored to what you go into. So I'm going to find, if I go into this, I'm going to find more magazines about clubs rather than if I went into Skullcrusher, I would find more about the Sledgehammer. So 
that's that there. This one's a very good one to keep an eye on as well. You do get some random ones at the beginning, but you want to be very careful about where you put those skill points. You know, if you're going to be somebody that wants to be going into like stealthy stuff, something like that, using knives, make sure you get a point into deep cuts. One other thing with that is the Forget It Elixir used to be really expensive, really, really expensive. Is now it's it's only about eight thousand jukes now, somewhere around that kind of price. It's actually quite cheap now. So in the early part of the game, it might be worth actually going into say advanced engineering and unlocking those different benches. You know, the forge and things like that, and the workbench and the chemistry station. It could be worth actually just getting those unlocked and then maybe putting your points somewhere else. Obviously, to keep yourself strong, you're always going to go into either clubs, sledgehammers, knives, spears. You, you're going to need to keep that side always always doing well for yourself. But maybe in other ways, we could actually kind of exploit it. But it's a game. We'll just enjoy it. Right, there you have it. That's the magazines basically in a nutshell. Now, to go on to the books, the books are very similar to the way they were before. You get seven different books in all these different sections that you can see in front of you here. We've got the batter up one here. And once you get all seven books, you get a perk. The batter up one I really like because it's if you kill your enemy with a power attack, you refill your summoner bar, which can be very, very useful. There it has been a few things that have changed, like this one, number six here, ragdoll enemies. That is something that's been added, but to be fair, not really much has changed with the books at all. They've still got the same names. A few of the perks have moved around, but and a few new ones have been added, but they're pretty much the same. And exactly this game with the schematics as well. Unfortunately, there's no way of seeing what schematics you have actually read and which ones you haven't read, apart from the little book icon. So when you go to the trailer, you want to make sure that if that book icon is actually open and read that you don't want to be buying that one because it'd be a waste of money because you already know it. Any other questions or anything like that, whack those down in the comments below. Please like and subscribe the video. We're going to be doing daily videos now in Alpha 21. And you guys have a cracking day and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.